Was it not partly your observation, your clinical observation, of psychotic cases which led you to differ from Freud on this? It was partially my experience with, with uh, schizophrenic patients that uh, led me uh, to the idea of certain general historical conditions. Is there any one case that you can now look back on and feel that perhaps it was the turning point of your thought? Oh, yes. Uh, I made quite a number of experiences of that sort, and I went uh, even to Washington to uh, study uh, Negroes at the psychiatric clinic there in order to find out whether they have the same type of dreams as we have. Uh, and uh, these experiences and others led me then to the hypothesis that there is an impersonal stratum in our psyche. And uh, uh, I can tell you an example. We had a, pa uh, a patient uh, in the world. He was quiet but uh, completely dissociated, uh, schizophrenic. And he was uh, in the clinic already for over 20 years. He had come into the clinic as a matter of fact, uh, being a young man, uh, a little girl uh, uh, and did no particular education. And once I came to the war, and, and he was obviously excited and called to me, took me by the label of my coat and led me to the window uh, and said, look, look, now, now you will see. Now look at it. Look up at the sun uh, and see. Uh, how it moves. You see, you must move your head too, like this, and then you will see the, uh, the follows of the sun. And, uh, you know, that's the origin of the wind. And you see how the sun moves as you move your head from one side to the other. Now, of course, I didn't understand it at all. I thought, uh, there you are. He's just crazy. Uh, and but that case remained in my mind. And four years later, uh, I uh, came across uh, a paper written by the German um, historian, E. Uh, Dietrich, um, who had uh, dealt with, uh, with the so-called Mitras literature, a part of the great uh, Parisian social papyrus. And there he uh, produced the uh, uh, part of the so-called Mitras liturgy. Namely, uh, it is said there, after the second prayer thou wilt see the, how the disk of the sun unfolds. And you will see hanging down from it the tube the origin of the wind and when you move thy face the face to the regions of the east it will move there and if you move your face to the regions of the west it will follow you and into that i know then you now this is it this is the vision of my patient could you be sure that your patient wasn't unconsciously recalling something that somebody had told him? Oh, no, quite out of question, because that thing was not known. It was in a, in a, in a magic papyrus in Paris, in the, uh, and it, it wasn't even published. It was only published four years later after I had observed it with my patient. And this you felt proved that there was a, a, an unconscious, which was something more than personal. Oh, well, that was not a proof to me, but it was a hint. And I took the hint. Yeah.